So 
I give you first shot at, at, at making me an offer on this beautiful four bedroom Mount Olympus, and, and, and you let me sit in here for two hours, and now you tell me you ain't. Hello? Gavilan. Uh, yeah, give me 10 minutes. You're right there. No, I shot it a couple times last week. There's some interest. Here we got a messy one. Here. Joe, Casey. Hey, Leon. Leon. Hey, I'm making you two primaries in this disaster. Since you've made no progress in the Tepto murder, I figure you do. Thanks for the confidence. Yeah, no problem. Who we got, Leon? One on the floor, three backstage. Rap group calls itself H2O Click. Don't ask me why. Joint was full? Yeah. Nobody saw me. Of course not. These things on? They were, they're up now. Listen, get them out here. Now, come on. this down. Cheeseburger, well done. Raw onion, pickle, ketchup. Nothing else. Got it. Officer. Tell me you're rolling on some chow. This is what the big dog wants. And I want tomato and cucumber on whole wheat with only mustard and bean sprouts. Shooter came from down there. The other came from down there. This poor son of a bitch got it from both sides. Yeah. So, how long you had this place? Man, I only had this place two years. This mess stuff. Where you living? At the Bellage. Bellage? Yeah, right up the road, but it's just temporary quarters. Where were you when the shooting occurred? In my office, right there. These guys were about to break out, weren't they? Yeah, the boys was blowing up, man. Sultane Records. Antoine Sultane. That's the big man. These guys have any trouble? Some sort of turf war going on? Man, I don't know nothing about no East Coast, West Coast, hip-hop, gang-banging bullshit. I'm just a poor country boy trying to get by. Get by pretty well, I'd say. I do okay. Hello? Hold on. Hello? Hello? Hold on just a second. Let me... There you go. Hey, Stan? Stan, that uh, four-bedroom Mount Olympus fell through. Can you make me an offer? Eddie, you got those shoe prints, right? Two sets of prints. You got matching pattern, different sizes. That's a nine, that's 11. Hey, you 
Come here. I see mayonnaise. Did anybody in this room hear me say the word mayonnaise? Read your notes. What does it say? Cheeseburger. Well done. Raw onion. Ketchup. Pickle. You call that well done? In addition to the mayonnaise, I see lettuce. Lettuce that somebody tried to scrape off here. This is a disaster. I only teach you at the academy anyway. You want to be a detective when you grow up? Yes, sir. Don't call me sir. I work for a living. Dump this for me, please. I expect better. Hey, Joe, kids got something. Gavilan. Oh, 675 will fly. No, you're gonna get back to me. You gotta have at least seven and change. Done, Mary. Could be something, could be nothing. Don't worry, kid. Did you get the puddle of piss and the shoe prints and the electrical gloves? Yeah, I got it, Joe. I'm gonna go hammer on the owner a little more. How come you got no video surveillance, big ass place like this? What I kind of security you got? I ain't never had no problems in my place. Well, you got a problem now. Two guys sneak in here with guns. Who does your security anyway? A bunch of off duty LAPD cops. Well, that's your first mistake. Man, why you ragging on me? All I'm trying to do is just business. Julius, you're making me curious. How come you live in a hotel? I just sold my crib. The new one fell through, so I'm sort of like looking right now. You're sort of like looking for a new house. That's what I see. <laughs> That's right. Look, in my uh, in my other career, I don't, I'm I'm a real estate broker. Real estate broker? You got two jobs? Well, we work a lot of overtime. We get a lot of time off. A lot of guys have guys have three jobs. So what you're saying, Cobb? What I'm saying to you is I got a beautiful 3,400 square foot house on Mount Olympus, new roof, partial view. Owner's desperate, man. Man, I don't want no crap on no Mount Olympus. What was you looking for? I'm looking for a big house, something with class. How much you willing to pay for something with class? Not a penny more than six. Six? That's what I said, six. I was not soliciting, I was doing research. Research is not soliciting. I've never had to pay for sex. I have four BAFTA nominations. Hey. Evening, Gloria. Do you know who I am? Fuck you. They're dead guys. Nice. Well, the piss makes me think we got a witness. I can't work here. This place is a zoo. Let's get out of here before boarding is closed. Doctor's in. Help's on his way. <sighs> something wrong, Joe? What do you mean, something wrong? You seem down. Down? Me? Lately. We've been partners for, what, four months? Now you want to be my shrink? Sometimes it helps to talk, that's all I'm saying. All right. Let me paint you a picture. Portrait of Joe Gavilan. Seven, eight years ago, I sold off the results of my entrepreneurial efforts up to that point. Three tanning salons and two original silk tip nail parlors in the Antelope Valley. And I started attending weekend real estate seminars at the airport Hyatt, you know, how to make a million dollars in real estate with very little money down. Sounds good. Started out with a condo in Sherman Oaks, slapped some paint on the walls, refaced the kitchen cabinets, traded up to a smoke damaged ranch in Tarzana and a Spanish an outpost and a fake Mediterranean in Los Feliz. Pretty soon I had everything I've got tied up in this, this monstrosity on Mount Olympus at the corner of Hercules and I shit you not, Achilles. So what's the problem? The problem is if I don't score a big commission or get rid of this piece of shit on Mount Olympus, well, the word Titanic comes to mind. Joe, I know a girl who works for some rich producer who says that he might be selling this place. Maybe you can get the listing. Do you have a name? Well, 
Her name's like Mini or Moma or something like that. I don't remember. Not the girl, Hot Rocks. The producer. No, I don't know. Producer. Way before my time, I... Hey, Joe, you ready for something? Shoot. I don't think I want to be a cop anymore. Come on. I need some fresh air. Put this on my tab, hang on. What tab? Yeah, I got it, I got it. Look, you don't want to be a cop when you grow up. What do you want to be? something stupid like acting because it's my bliss and I have to follow my bliss turn the over around here I rented a theater up on Highland Friday night I invited some agents and producers it's called showcase what are you gonna showcase my talent Mr. Robert De Niro here hey detective I know you're gonna say it's none of my business but when's the last time you got laid None of your business. Right. shaking my booty at you. I heard you were working that bloodbath over at the freeway club. Yeah. Yeah, well, word's already out on the street about the shooting. Word is, one guy slid out without a scratch. Your name or anything? Yeah, K. Rowe or K. Mark or K. Rock or something like that. He was the group's main songwriter. Somebody writes that shit? <laughs> Tell me about it. I'm gonna drop you back where I got you. Yeah, I think I got back up where you picked me up. Just to swing you back around the Cherokee. These heels are killing me, you know? Just just kill me, man. to wait. We're out of time. 
Why do you always call so late? Night owls, this is Ruby. Sartain, I'd like to thank the two of you. I'm Mr. Sartain's colleague, Leroy Watson. Tell Mr. Sartain the deed's done. Now, where's our money? Here you go. Tell me something, Matt. You think Gavilan can figure this thing out? I think Mako's not going to let him we'll take him down first. Why would Benny Mackle believe all this bullshit you've been feeding him anyway? I've known Benny a long time. He graduated in the class right behind mine at the academy. We were rookies together in the same division. It's a politically ambitious suit. He listens to what I tell him. Patience is not one of my virtues. Let me explain something to you. You can kill a street punk like Klepto. It's no big deal. These two bangers, they didn't mean anything to anybody. But you send them into an open nightclub and they cap four guys, that's another mess altogether. Last time I checked, I paid you to run my security, not your mouth. This right here, right here is payback from way back. I don't play that. Play that. This right here, right here is payback. Why 
him because he's your partner. Open it. Go ahead, open it. No, don't open it. Signed to IA. He's taken his shot. Can't trust cops. Your dad was a cop. Yeah, he was killed in the line of duty under some bullshit circumstances. No one was held responsible, and his case was closed. The feds investigate? Well, the word is they thought his partner was dirty, but the report's sealed. I... Well, I got a pal down there who owes me a favor. If you want to see the report, I'll make a call. I'd appreciate it, yeah. Hey, Joe, listen, what I said last night about you getting laid, it's none of my business, you know? It's no big deal. And just be safe. Safe? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that hooker last night. <laughs> that was a guy. I don't, I don't need to know that. That was a cop. That was a... a, a, a Guy cop. The cop guy. Okay. Gavelin. Hello, Joe. Cleo. Just talking about you. Well, I hope you're saying something good. Listen, Joe, I have a little problem. Vice is breathing down my neck. Yeah, well, I is breathing down mine. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, I might have something for you. I'm listening. Yeah, hi. Is this William Morse Agency? Yeah, hi, this is Casey Calden. I sent a headshot of a resume and an invitation to a former streetcar named Desire. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold it. Like it's a bit yeah, yeah. Well, well, yes. Where are you going? Yes, it's on, it's on Friday. One of the girls that works for me was a regular for one of the guys that got shot last night. She was also a regular of Klepto's. You talk to Vice and get him to back off me, and I'll talk to the girl. It's not the way it works. 
You give me the girl, then I'll talk to Vice. Joe, now, why don't I send you over a couple of ladies? Big mistake. <laughs> big, big mistake. You can have a party on me. We'll keep it out of the book. What do you say? Hmm? Not my style, Cleo. Call me back when you got something real. Yeah, I'll be playing the Brando part. Hello?
Within an hour? Okay, great. Gavelin. Yeah, Leon. This Mondo's got something for you. Hold on. Yeah, Joe. The kid who's from the club. Cairo, born Oliver Robodeau, 578. Went to losing a high in Compton. Graduated in 95. Address unknown. Oliver Robodeau. Hey, Leon. Turn the fire hose on. Does that Same name ring a bell with you? Robido. Robido. That sounds familiar. So. <laughs> yeah, um, uh, uh, Motown singer. Olivia Robido. Used to sing backup for uh, Marvin Gaye and Tammy Terrell. Stella! Put Lopez back on. Run Olivia Robido, will you? Music unions, you ask Cat, anything. Get back to me, all right? I hope they do haul you in. Turn the fire hose on you. Same as last time. You hey. Stick you. Well, for Polak, you. Cairo is one Oliver Robodeau. I think his mom was this backup singer for Motown named uh, Olivia Robodeau. Right. We're finally getting somewhere. All right, let's go. Hey, uh, look, I gotta, I gotta show the house. No? How about you cover the autopsies for us, huh? Joe, I don't like that place. Come on, I'll owe you one. You coming to my play on Friday night? Uh, yeah, I'm coming to your play. Sure. Well, there's still some seats open. All right, I'll bring some people, okay? All right, you got a deal. Hey, Shauna, can I get a lift? Of course. Cool. See you, Joe. I take this. Thanks. It's good to see you. with 6-5. You come back at 6, give him 48 hours, he'll take it. He's desperate. For sure. Yeah, for sure. Excuse me. Gavin. Joe. Yeah. I got two bodies down here at the chop shop that could be the trigger. Uh, what do you got? I got the earring, and I got the boots. I booked them in evidence. Man, what's up? Uh, police business. You seen the library? I don't need no library. I need a pool. Turf warfare guys do their own dirty work. Uh, I think these guys were kept to cover somebody else's tracks. You like tennis? Too much running. I absolutely agree with you. No, I don't mind. Uh, hey, uh, look, good job, kid. I'll talk to you later. Yeah, okay. So, Julius, what do you think? Okay. I'll go 5-5. Five, five. All right. My man. Bring the left foot back. Root it there. And come up into warrior one. Let your arms just raise up. Spread your arms to the sides. Exhale. Come back down to warrior two. Exhale. And then bring your right arm down to your knee and sweep the left arm across. Extreme right angle pose. Sweep the arms up, move your feet to parallel. Pull your arms back around behind you. And then just feel yourself. Very good. And 
continue that on the other side. I'll be right back. What are you doing here? I'm doing something for you. How'd you find me? I'm psychic. Really? No, not really. I'm a detective, for Christ's sake. I didn't know you'd talk to this stuff. You make some dough? Yeah, I make 20 bucks a head. You know, donation. Donation? Unreportable? 20 times 48? 100 bucks a whack? Cash? Class. All right, when you're done with this pose, we're done for the day. Namaste. Get back here. Namaste. Some racket you got here. Money and sex. <laughs> this is not a racket. All right, these are real people with real feelings. All right, they need me. I'm the teacher. And I need them too. It's what's called a symbiotic relationship. You probably wouldn't know about that. Have a good day. Thank you. Nice practice. Excuse me, Casey. Do you give private lessons? I don't, but I could. If you talk to Kimberly, then we'll set something up, okay? okay thank you. Casey, thank you. I feel really open. That's a good thing. See you later. <clears throat> Great class. Thanks, Shauna. <laughs> Maybe I got into it for the sex, but it's not about that anymore. I mean, this spiritual shit, there's really something to it. I mean, I'm out of my body sometimes, man, seriously. I mean, this stuff really works. And then these girls come in, and I mean, they're everywhere. Mm. It's spiritual. Deep and shallow. Deep and shallow. This is why I came. It's a report on your dad's shoot. Gavin. Gower and Franklin. Thanks for understanding, Joe. What's up, Cleo? Have you talked to Vice? No, I haven't talked to Vice. Not gonna talk to Vice till I talk to your girl. You're gonna have to give me a name. My girl is ready to talk. I've heard that before. She says she was working a Sartain Records party. Overheard some guys smoking crack start bragging. About what? Evidently, the people behind the crypto murder were the same ones behind the H2O click here. That's hearsay. Hearsay to you. Pillow talk to the DA. You want a deal? I don't know. You may call tomorrow, I'll run it by the DA. This girl better be for real. Look, I gotta make this work. Things are getting ugly. What we got on Gavilan so far? First of all, he's still seeing Cleo Ricard. In fact, he saw her earlier today. God, it's just it's right in my face. He's just completely defiant. Yeah, well, he's clearly continuing to work her as an informant. Yeah, I know. That's enough to relieve him of duty right there. But I, you know, I don't want him relieved of duty. I want him to hang. Well, his financials don't add up. He's paying off three ex-wives. He's got two kids. He's got two kids in a fancy college. He's got a great big house. He's got that big stupid car, you know? I mean, what about his real estate thing? Well, he hasn't made a sale in ages. Well, my source tells me he's getting money from somewhere to keep it afloat, so give me more surveillance. Okay.
the key. You know it was under the flower pot. It's like good security for a cop. have a field for a case early on. Except they do. We think human time, but rocks think geology time. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, I don't. Well, the only date that matters is the date I found you and left that journey. They know it's over. Benny's in denial. He's hanging on like a mongoose. It's sad. Benny? Marco, you don't know him. He's not in your division. Benny Marco? Benny the executioner Marco? That sounds like my Benny. He's the guy who's trying to bury me, for Christ's sake. Does he know about us? Of course not. And who cares? It's over. We're finished. Guys aren't like that, honey. Guys keep score. Gavel. The Edger. Mr. Duran. Yeah, I, I can do that. Okay. Got the buyer in the cellar inches away from closing, and this guy wants breakfast. That could be great, honey. Mercury is not in retrograde for another week. It's good time for deal making, it's perfect time. What did you ever see in Benny Mako? I guess I just have a weakness for cops. Lock up when you leave. Whoa, what have we here? Oh, 
Priced out a six. Oh, I said one five eight. Six is the score. You never told me five eight would do it. Well, I was negotiating. For whom? Look, you wanted five eight. I was about to get you six. He was ready to go to six four. Maybe six five, but you said the price was seven. It never was seven. Now look, guys, calm down. This is a good deal for both of you. The deal's off. I want seven million. Seven. Seven. I won't go a penny over six five. Good day, gents. Asshole. I was that close to closing the deal, and Jerry Duran starts dicking around and blows the whole thing. Oh, no, I'm joking. It's not, it never solved any problems. I mean, I've got problems. How many girls are waiting in line for the hot thing? That's your idea of a problem. Joe, you don't respect me wanting to be an actor, do you? I just don't get it. I mean, don't you ever just want to explore all the possibilities of who you are? I just want to pay the mortgage and escape with my dick still attached to my body. It's that one over there. I'm a simple man. Why don't you go around behind? I'll give you a second. Sir, you're 
I'm calm, okay? Right. I'm calm. All right. Get him. Let me cop. Get him. You young ass brat. If it wasn't for this old man up here, you wouldn't have caught nothing. Nothing. Even if you had roller skates. So I can't believe I let your old ass catch me, man. Talk to us. L-A-P-D. Lame ass, punk ass, dickheads. Settle down, son. L-A-P-D. Settle down. I ain't no snitch, and I ain't no bitch. I ain't got to tell you shit. You are just talking yourself into a hole. Take my cuffs off, not kick your ass. Oh, really? You Would you my shut ass, up? Ass? Shut yeah. up! I ain't this shit, man! All right, that's it! That's it! Let's take this sucker to the station, partner, huh? Harbor Division substation. Crooked ass police, up in the car. Johnny Cocker, Chemical Ali, Robert Shapiro, one of them. Where do I call my mama? It's gonna be a rat, man. I'm... What is this, man? This is Harbor Division, son. Nice, quiet place. We can reason together. Here we are. Harbor Division. This don't look like no police station. Get him out of the car. My pleasure. Get him out. Come this on. Don't look like. Come Get on. out. Let me Get go. Out of the car. Get this out. Ain't no police Here station. Yeah, this is a special station. This police station. Special is asshole. <laughs> it looks like. You have to put the pieces together your own self. I'll take care of your son for you, man. Antoine Sartain was a busy guy in the gangster network. He had a lot of contacts on the outside. The music guy, right? Big time. Yeah. He was smooth, but he was a psycho. And the guy, he was wired. He had this attitude like he could get anything he wanted. Any contacts, friends, something to follow up on? It was a white dude. He came to visit him every single week while he was here. Every week for a whole year without fail. Got a name? Yeah. Hey, Myers, what was the name of the, the, the white dude who came to visit Sartain every week? Wasley. Leroy Wasley. Leroy Wasley. Officer Colton and his partner, Officer Leroy Wasley, working undercover on cocaine by standoff developed. Suspect demanded to see the cash. Officer Calden demanded to see the cocaine. Officer Calden was shot twice in the chest. 
Suspect got away with $100,000. Some suspicion that Officer Wesley may be involved with the drug dealers. It's thought that Wesley was dirty. Why would they let him back up my dad on a $100,000 drug deal? Because they couldn't prove it, I guess. After an exhaustive four-month investigation, the case against Officer Wesley was dropped due to a lack of evidence. Joe, I want to kill him. Easy. Easy. There's a real can of worms here. Wesley wasn't the only backup. There were three uniformed officers out in the alley. Two of them took off after the suspect. One of them came into the room to find out, oh my God. What's his name? Bernard Macko. Benny Macko. Benny Macko. Wesley and Macko, Macko and Wesley. Something's going on here. You okay? Yeah, I'm good. Go, go ahead. Take it easy. Hey, Rubes. Uh, look, high A's on my ass. Grab some takeout and meet me up at Mount Olympus. I don't want to go to the house, okay? Lights, camera, action, show time. this house? Sergeant Gavilly, we're taking you downtown. Ugh. What a nightmare. The 
Just one question, asshole. Why me? You have no probable cause. I'm a good cop. Yeah. Records either. All right, thanks. What? 
This guy's Sartain. Yeah, I don't even know where to find him. Wait a second. I got one idea. Hey, Rube. You ever done any psychic work for the police? Are uh, you gonna be home for the next half hour? Great. What are you laughing at? Sunset Plaza. Give her a break, Joe. We're getting close. Hold on, hold on. We're, we're here. Here? Here, yep. Okay, here? We're here.
across the street. There really is something. I know. Look, I've got to go. I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Air 6, we got two more black and whites joined up on the chase. In pursuit of a uh, silver Mustang convertible, Black Escalade, Sunset Boulevard, going about 50 miles an hour. Hey, who are you black and whites chasing me on Both of us now! God damn, you just committed three felonies! What? Gavilan? Yeah, Terry. You know, I can like talk. Six, we'll take 6 9 now. I don't know, it might be too late. I'll make a call. Thank <laughs> you. 
Uh, Jerry, I've just been with Julius. I've twisted his arm. I have a firm offer for 675. 675, sir. Yes, sir. 675. Firm. I... You will. You will? You will. Oh, that's fantastic. I'll, uh, I'll have the paperwork started first thing in the morning as soon as I get to the office, okay? Well, I gotta run now. Thank you very much. <laughs>
you now, Joe? No, uh, leave him for the coroner. Where's the kid? Down that way. You okay? Yeah. You? No, I look okay. You're so tame.